Uh, hopefully, kind of quick uh, response video. Uh, Pyro's made three more videos um, talking his crap. Um, oh, yeah, I have added him to the uh, toolboxy thing. So, again, you just hit the bookmark once you've created a bookmark on your browser. And uh, the thing will pop open with the comments. And then you just hit debate. And it should load. Yeah, that's the debate page format. So, there'll be different debates each subject. And um, I'm going to title them, you know, label them with the version numbers and such. And in future, um, you know, everybody will be required to uh, play along with the formatting to be included. Um, probably, you know, unless they make a video that just can't be ignored. But I mean, it would be good to have them format a number just so we know what order they're in. Because apparently one of these videos Pyro made before conference report made this video way over here but anyway it doesn't really matter anyway progress and such yeah there will be this index page it's going to have lots of other tools on it and you know you can do silly things like put the borders on the page or it'll, it'll break down the web page construction different little things games and whatnot and all that crap anyway I haven't got there yet you can just hit this more DNG button also will work it'll load in order the different pages that'll be available in the future and uh, yeah so it's getting there anyway back to Pyro's video <laughs> yeah uh, so I'll post a link to the page you just it's a bookmark you have to make it a bookmark a favorite bookmark favorite yeah you know really that's how it works you don't use it on my website you use it on any website you're at and it essentially loads my website into somebody else's website. So anyway, which in the future will enable me to do interesting things, like um, create many websites from other people's websites and whatnot. But anyway, I'm going to get into that. whole different subject. Um, all right, well, Pyro's basically, he made three videos, and he's basically keeps saying the same thing, that there's no, um, he can just look at something, and if it mimics human behavior, it's therefore controlled by the same mechanisms. So if it if it moves towards, um, you know, its name, it doesn't matter. If it moves towards it, it's doing it because it has a desire, because humans have desire. And desire is what move, moves us. And so he's saying there's no difference in, in kind. He's just talking like there's a difference in degree. And the argument just falls apart on so many levels. It just completely discounts the existence of a brain, which is really ludicrous. Um, but just the simplest, in the simplest terms, you can understand these distinctions. And I have to go through this, you know, to have to explain evolution to Pyro. Um, I can't believe he went to, you know, he took college physics courses, and apparently he has no clue what evolution is and how it works. Um, because he's saying because a uh, banana and because we share DNA, half our DNA with a banana, um, that means we're only a little bit better than a banana. You know, that the bananas are, are just like, yeah, they're like a brother or a sister is our banana. Um, and that just has to do with how, evolutionary, how evolution works. Once, a, once an organism achieves its, its um, success, it doesn't evolve much, and it might not acquire any new genetic code. I mean, probably a crocodile's genetic code has been the same for hundreds of millions of years, essentially the same. Um, and uh, the second half would be is that there's this, there, there are these levels of complexity. Um, and so that's the point I'll get to here, is that the real distinction between us and single cell and fairly collective organisms. I mean, a plant is just a, a loose affiliation of different cell types, and um, a human organism is entirely um, a colony. They're, they're, we're made of colonies of cells, a liver colony, a pancreas colony, a, you know, go through all your organs, the, even the brain, neurons, these are colonies of cells. And uh, the perception of our our capacity to perceive the environment is created by an illusion created by a colony of cells. It is not something that's happening in the evolution of a single cell. It's happening in the evolution of a bunch of cells growing together. So that's a huge difference in kind, not degree. 
we're, we're substantially different than a single cell microbe in that we are not a single cell. We're a colony and everything we do and how we function is made out of those cells. So it's how they're arranged that creates our perception of consciousness. Um, huge difference in kind. Again, having a brain is a huge different in, difference in kind. Um, you know, to talk about uh, hormones and this and that and all these other things, they influence our brain. They don't, <laughs> they're, they're not the perceptual instrument anymore. They're not the limit of our control mechanisms. That, that's the old crude banana reflexes. All right? We don't have those. That, that's irrelevant now. Now the chemistry is used to influence a brain. The brain does all of this stuff now. It's a completely different circumstance. The brain controls and regulates hormones and their production in the hypothalamus. So it's it's a you know th these parts have evolved. It's like a it's like a flounder's eye moving to the other side of its head. I mean you know there's lots of examples in nature of also of parts turning into some other part. You know there's insects that have fake antennas and there's insects that have things that look like legs and they're not legs. I mean, there's, you know, there's parts that evolve to look like something they're not. And, uh, you know, because of our advanced evolution, um, yeah, we have, we have really cr crude primitive structures that have evolved into some new functionality. Um, so anyway, but listen, I'm not gonna, you know, uh, maybe we can find a Thunderfoot Junior video you know, and let Pyro, um, you know, learn a little bit about evolution, and he needs to learn a lot <laughs> about behavioral psychology, um, and learn a lot about um, physical dynamics, because something mimics behavior does not mean it is being controlled by the same mechanism, it's just, it's just such a gigantic, idiotic way of looking at the world especially when we have this known capacity. Again, he just keeps ignoring the arguments. I mean, we've dissected ourselves, we've dissected everything, we understand the differences and the distinctions. So it's just, it's just idiotic for me to have to explain that, yes, we've dissected us and we found a brain inside of our head. It's really, really bizarre. Trillions of neural connections that create the illusion of consciousness, perception, awareness. It's an illusion created inside of a brain. It is not something that a knee jerk has. It is not something a banana has. It's not something a micro has, micro organism has. And I guess this whole thing is just stems out of the fact that people just don't want to accept our origins, which is consumption, reproduction, uh, cannibalism, and now with sentience, addiction. They just don't want to accept that's our origins. That's what we are. Okay, a living thing start off as just a little a piece of DNA reproducing itself. No ambition, no passion, no love, no honor, no no decent motivating force whatsoever. Just a piece of material attempting to take over an environment. Period. And uh they don't like that foundation. And so now they're going to try to corrupt it by making all of these parts of matter into um, little humans, um, you know, little little desires and, and aspirations, and we can tell little romantic stories and Br'er Rabbit them and uh, Alice in Wonderland them, and we can have all the little animals can talk and all the plants can talk and the trees can talk and we can make everything into a little fake Wizard of Oz bullshit, and that's all this is about, and... It's uh, <laughs> profoundly depressing that uh, this is where we have to start a, a conversation about our reality, is that we're going to have to explain the distinction between animals that have highly evolved brains and uh, single cell um, biology hmm? um, that's been chemically programmed to function in an environment, period, but has no... Um, has, has a completely different uh, mechanical infrastructure. I mean, really, I mean, I, I really shouldn't have to sit here and explain all the differences between me and a banana. <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, I'm not, I shouldn't have to, I'm not going to. It would be a waste of our time. 
um, you know, there's a point where there's there's going to be a certain number of retards on planet Earth that just aren't going to be able to get it. And we're just going to have to uh, make decisions for those people because they're really just too stupid to, to take on the responsibility of being part of any discussion about what reality is because they just can't play in 